welcome to another Katia V5 video tutorial. Uh, this is a sort of exercise for sweep. I want to do a, a sort of impeller. I already inserted three geometrical sets for the sketches, for the curves, for the surfaces. Let's start with a sketch on the Y set plane hide as usual the yellow projected elements and I want to use spline try to avoid snapping on something if you press the shift key the snap is deactivated temporarily so I needed something like this okay and I need a rotation axis it's not necessary of course you should make this sketch ISO constraint but to show you how to do it, it's not necessary. Make it something like that. Leave the sketch and make a revolve around the, this axis. Make it 360 degrees. So I should move this one to another geometrical set surfaces and okay then I need another sketch on this plane hide these three elements and I will use another spline and let it start here again make it easy constraint okay so I want to make these two sketches more visible or at least this one make it thicker and give it a different color let's say pink okay now I want to project this one onto the surface so I go for project projection type should be not normal but along a direction what should be projected is this sketch the support is this surface and the direction is normal to that plane pick the nearest solution and okay so I got this curve this should go into this geometrical set so change it to curves and okay make it a different color and make it thicker so and maybe use green yeah. so now I need just a sweep so I will define a work object the surfaces and I will go for sweep and I will use this type line type subtype with reference surface the guide curve which is also the spine is this curve yes and then the reference surface is that surface and right now I will pick 90 degrees angle and the length should be as I didn't check 
my dimensions I will go for let's say 10 and just take a look so here yeah. I will go for this solution and OK. Yeah. Now I want to use a law for the length. So I will go back to the sweep and go to length 1, law make it not linear but S-type and set the end or let's say the start value to 5 millimeters and take a look. Preview and OK. So it looks like this. Yeah. And you could change it this way close preview that's more like it yeah and we could make a law for the angle as well which leads to a kind of problem because it will go for a different solution. So I will go for both lengths. So I make this one 10. Preview. So it's on the other side as well. I make it as well a law as type and this way. So if I change the angle with a law, let's go from, let's say, 80 degrees as type to, let's say, 70 degrees, close, and preview, it looks like this, and then I might change this length to constant, close it, make it zero, take a look, and OK. Yeah. It's really only a very simple impeller, which might not work, but it's just for you to show how you might do it. Yeah, now I would go for a circular pattern and I would pattern this one, make it a complete crown, let's say 16 and the reference element would be this one and OK. looks okay. Then I will go to part design, add some thickness, to this surface, okay. Add some thickness to the sweep. Okay. And to the circular pattern as well. Yeah. 
And if I now hide those geometrical sets, I have sort of an impeller. Yeah, It needs, of course, refinement, but it's very easy to do with one sweep in Katia. So, hope you enjoy the video, hope, hope you enjoy my happy accidents, and see you next time. Bye!